So anyways, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're here at um, McCarran International Airport and we are going to be flying standby. I really want a coffee, <laughs> but I can't go through the security. It's been forever since I actually been through the airport or just leaving anywhere, so I don't know, we'll see. Flying standby, I had to put back on my little foot flops. It's a long walk all the way to the gate. So anyways, we'll see what happens. See you later. funny thing is that we jumped on our flight and we flew out of our staycation in Las Vegas, enjoyed our beautiful night there at the Bellagio and we headed our way to LA and from there we didn't really know. It was a toss up going to San Diego or Santa Barbara or just stay in the LA area, maybe do the whole Hollywood Universal thing, we're not too sure. But as soon as we landed, OMG, look at all of this fog, it was overcast, it was like 58 degrees and we were like, burr. Once we got off the plane, we were like, stop. What other destination will we have besides going to San Diego at this very moment, at this very second that is leaving from this airport that we can jump onto? We chose the Waikiki Beach and we knew my mom was in great hands making it a little bit more relaxing to be away at this particular moment. But check out this suite. We stayed at the Grand Islander, part of the Hilton. Nice. Nice. What's in here? Oh. Oh, it's one of those nice bathrooms, the toilets. <laughs> oh. We can definitely have an experience with that, huh? Just kidding. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. That's it's your privacy. It's interesting, huh? Yes. Yeah. Now this is nice. Look at this, full, like almost full kitchen. Oven, microwave. It smells very new. Best part. Wow.
Okay, time for me to change, get out of my jeans. <laughs> Can you believe that we're here? <laughs> I have to tell you the story of how it all happened. We stayed there one time. Now this is the Halakoya where we stay. But they didn't have any rooms available. But we're still gonna ha go hang out on their uh, property. Take advantage of the benefits of military life. Koya Resort is just like a piece of paradise for military members and their families to enjoy. It's an oceanfront resort right off of the Waikiki Beach and we love coming here just to dine and to do the luau here and we also like to do all of our souvenir shopping which we did. So we want to make sure we brought home a little something for everyone back home. Of course, we had to also enjoy the popular barefoot bars Mai Tai. They are so beautiful, but they are so delicious. This is probably as close as I got of eating a pineapple on this trip. They're open to the public, so I totally recommend this place, but they do offer military discount if you have an ID. We continued our date throughout the night, and well, that's just between us. Okay, it is about five o'clock, and uh, Jay and I need to head out to the airport so we have all of our bags already here and um, gotta get back so it was actually a really nice suite perfect view perfect time now we gotta get start making our way back to Queen G mahalo <laughs> mahalo Hawaii so we stayed at the Grand Islander it's a brand new tower and it's just gorgeous in here. Look at the wood. Everything is beautiful. Mahalo. And that way there was to the beach and to the rest of the Hilton Village. It's huge, big old resort. Just gonna wait for our taxi cab.
Here is the iconic theme building of the Los Angeles International Airport, and it used to be an observation deck turned into a rotating restaurant, and then after 9-11, it closed. We are blessed. I love to stare out the window and pray, reflect, and give thanks for so many blessings in our lives. I feel closer to our loved ones who have passed, and I always find myself praying to them as we fly through such beauty. This journey we are on is difficult. I always think why. And then I remember who I am, why I am, and so blessed to be able to live life, a lovely life no matter what happens. <music>